The first part we're going to look at is the tunnel client, which is essentially a VPN. So what you see here in terms of this demo is a Windows 10 desktop. And on here, I have the Workspace ONE tunnel client. This is being configured by our Workspace ONE uh, UEM tenant. As you can see at the moment, it's disconnected. You can see that we have a list of managed applications. And in this case, there's just one application, which is Google Chrome. If I click on that, you can see we have a list of managed domains, uh, domains that are, uh, could be excluded and domains that are blocked. So essentially, what this is telling us is that Chrome is a managed application. There's some control over the different sites that, that I can visit. And what I'm going to do in the demo is show you a comparison of a, of a managed browser versus a non-managed. In the real world, you probably wouldn't give somebody an unmanaged browser because then they would be accessing that content you're trying to prevent them accessing. But for the person with the demo, we're going to look at that. It's worth noting that the Workspace ONE tunnel can be used on other applications. It's not purely limited to browser. So if I bring up Chrome, this would be our managed browser. And I also bring up Edge, and that will be our unmanaged browser. On Edge, you can see we're at VMware.com. Um, from here, I could go to Netflix as an example. Because it's unmanaged, I can access any content that I want. An organization may not want that. So what I'm going to do here is then come across and go to Netflix from uh, the Chrome browser. And as you can see, that's unavailable. That's, that's blocked, essentially. You can also see now that because of the activity in the browsers that the tunnel client is kicked in, it's got a job to do here. It's got domains to, to protect against, but also allow access to. So you can see here as well, there's uh, a managed domain, which is an intranet site. So that's a good example. But if I go to uh, intranet.com, you can see this is an internal website I have access to. And then just to kind of prove the point, if I then go to the exact same URL, what you'll see there is eventually that will time out. Whilst we're waiting for that to time out, if we refer back to the tunnel client, you can see that equally, if I'd gone to Facebook or Instagram, you'd have seen the same results. Really, we're just demonstrating here that that the power that that tunnel client has in terms of secure access and so, you know, protecting the content you may or may not want your users to access.